Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase EFI system partition size. The EFI system partition is a crucial part of your computer that helps it boot up, and sometimes it needs more space. If you're running into issues because it's too small, don't worry. I'll guide you through the steps to fix it. Let's get started. The EFI system partition, also known as ESP, is an important part of your computer's boot process. It stores boot files required for Windows to start, Sometimes this partition may become too small, especially after system updates or dual boot installations. To fix this, we need to resize it using disk management and command prompt. First, open a start menu and search for disk management. Click on create and format hard disk partitions. In disk management, locate the EFI system partition. It is usually labeled as EFI and formatted with FAT32. If there is no unallocated space next to it, you will need to shrink another partition to create free space. To do this, Right click on the main partition next to the EFI partition and select Shrink Volume. Enter the amount of space you want to free up and select Shrink. Once done, you will see an allocated space next to the EFI partition. Next, we'll create the new EFI partition. Open the Start menu, type Command Prompt, and run it as an administrator. In the Command Prompt window, type Disk Part and press Enter. Then type List Space Disk to see all your disks. Identify your system disk and type Select Space Disk Space X. Replace X with your disk number. Now type create space partition space EFI space size equals Y. Replace Y with the size in megabytes you want for the new EFI partition. Once the new EFI partition is created, we need to add boot files to it. Type format space quick space FS equals FAT32 space label equals system to format the partition. Then type assign space letter equals Z. Replace Z with a drive letter not in use. Finally, Type bcd boot space c colon backslash windows space forward slash s space z colon. Replace c with your windows drive letter and z with the new EFI partition letter. This copies the boot files to the new partition. Now download and install mini tool partition wizard. Open the program, locate your old EFI partition, right click on it and select delete. Confirm the deletion and click apply to save the changes. This will free up space and ensure your system uses the new EFI partition. Once everything is done, restart your computer. Your system should now boot using the new EFI partition, and you'll have successfully increased its size. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And click on that notification bell to never miss an update.